Part 2. The Age of Gods Chapter 1. Returning to Dragonia A month ago, Drake's adventure ended. When he and his friends returned, they had a few weeks left before the summer vacation started. Their classmates were worried at first, and all too curious about what happened, although Rex was only disappointed to see Drake's return. After telling everyone what happened, of course, no one believed them. Drake's mother was so worried about her son, she had even hung missing posters all over the city. Ariana reacted normally on the things Drake told her. Drake thought she didn't believe him, like all the others, but he wasn't exactly right about that. When the summer vacation finally arrived, Drake was really curious about what adventure was awaiting him, and that was why he left for Dragonia the day the vacation started. Of course, not without his dear friends Harrow and Julia. Like Harrow told him, Drake could not forget to take them along. Drake, wake up! Ariana yelled. Drake? Ariana walked up the stairs into Drake's room. Drake, where are you? Ariana found a note left by her son. The note said, Hey mom, remember when I told you today I'd leave for Dragonia? Well, I couldn't wait any longer, and you were still asleep. So, I'm on my way to Haru and Julia. I'll probably be gone for a week or two, or three, or six, who knows. Drake. P.S. Don't let Dora in my room. The previous time I was gone, there was nothing left of it. Ariana read the note, and her expression changed. She became worried. Alright, Drake. Be careful, she said to herself. Eventually, Drake stood in front of Haru's door. Yes, I have them, Mom. Harrow yelled as he opened the door and came walking out. Hey, Drake greeted him. What was that about? Harrow threw some clothes out of his bag. This. She keeps telling me to take more than I have packed. Drake chuckled. Harrow grabbed the clothes he threw on the ground and threw them back into the house. He closed the door. Let's go, he said. They left Harrow's house and headed for Julia's, which was quite close by. I can't wait to return to Dragonia, Drake said. To see everyone again, Arian, Calypso, Chop, you name it. Same here, can't wait to see Hank again. Drake chuckled again. You sure you want to stick with that name? Yeah, why not? Hank sounds like a grandpa, it's so standard. Even Hank, well, your hippogriff bit you when he heard that. A grandpa? Only because your grandpa was called Hank, I bet. Well, yeah, but wasn't yours too? Um, maybe. Took you long enough. Julia said when they arrived. Already up and ready to go, I see, Drake said. Yep, let's leave before my brother comes home from his trip to Nepal. Do you want to see him first? Drake asked. Oh, trust me, he'll go bragging about the heroic acts of his Julia like every time. You don't want to do that to me. All right, then. Where were you planning on putting down that portal of yours? Haru asked. I did have an idea. Remember that lake island, Haru? Oh, yeah, we used to play there when we were young. No one ever comes there, so let's go, Drake proposed. They walked for a few minutes until they got to a few trees where Drake and Harry used to play when they were younger. Behind the trees lay a little lake, and in the middle a small island, surrounded in trees and plants. There it is, Drake said. All right, but I have one question. How do we get there? Julia asked. Drake pointed at a fallen tree a few meters away from them. Don't tell me we have to walk on that. Haha, <laughs> we've had worse, Drake answered laughing. Fine, let's go, Julia said. They walked to the start of the tree. Drake walked over it first, followed by Harrow and Julia. Without any trouble, they made it to the other side. All right, let's put down the portal, Drake said after they all made it to the island that were hidden well. You know how? Harrow asked. Honestly, no idea, Drake answered. Improv. Drake moved his hand forwards and thought about summoning a portal. By just believing, the purple light source appeared before him and formed a circle for them to fit through. I don't know how he did it, and I won't spend the time to ask you either, Julia said. Well, there we go, Drake said. They stepped through the portal. In contradiction to what they thought, the portal automatically closed on its own behind them after they all stepped through. Ah! They all landed in the lake next to the palace. Completely soaked, they crawled out of the lake. We're here, Drake said. I might have to ask Haven to adjust the place of teleportation. Drake, what were you thinking about as you summoned the portal? Julia asked. About how I first set foot in Dragonia, he answered. Yeah, that might be the problem, 
Julia pointed out. Ah, that might be true. My bad. Drake apologized. In the distance, they could see the palace that was already almost rebuilt in a ridiculously fast pace. Around the palace and the surroundings, the sky was full of creatures. The grass was green, the sun shined bright, and no dark eye on the horizon. They made it back to Dragonia.